What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay Scott Top. Elbo. We are the Midnight, Midnight Movie, Movie Watchers. Watchers. And for today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys the review for... Us. Us, baby. So we just did the uh, the Us discussion prior to this video about, what, 24 hours ago? Yeah, about 24 hours about ago. About 24 hours ago, we just dropped our last video basically discussing our excitement to watch the film. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. Go check it out. Yeah. Go check it out. Uh, but we just got back from the movie theater from seeing Us again. Well, Evan again. I seen it twice. <laughs> He's seen it twice. twice. I, ain't, I ain't got that. Yeah, I got to Friday today. He, yeah, yeah, he way ahead. I gotta catch up. So, uh, but right. we just saw it, and without further ado, let's just dive straight into it. Evo, you know you up first. Oh yeah, this movie was. I, I thought it was gonna be. It didn't let me down. If people got mixed feelings about it, but I loved it. The whole concept. It kept you on your toes. Yep, it kept yep. you thinking of what was gonna happen next. Uh, did that. There's a lot of scenes, and especially the shot angles. Yeah, like yeah. A, when they was, she was in her bedroom, she would get talk telling her story to her husband. Mm -hmm. Like they, they, when she was a silhouette in the mirror, yeah. like yeah. looked that like so good. creepy. That was, I was like, it was that hard. Was Especially when it was uh, the chalkboard when it had a close up on her and she seen in the background. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that was another good Man, one. That the was another shot good angle was amazing. <laughs> but, but what you think? Man, okay, so I agree. Like this movie was shot masterfully. Yeah, like, I, I some really, of the scenes, some of the angles. He did that. Mm -hmm. He did he that. He did it. My favorite shot scene from the film uh, was definitely a scene that happened at the end when the doppelganger was facing, when they were facing off with each other. I don't mm -hmm. want to spoil it for you guys. Like we I'll saw it, but I don't know if y'all saw it yet. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but they have a scene. It's, it's towards the end where, you know, they basically finally clash. And it, it was just shot masterfully. Oh, yeah, I, I that, really was, liked that was that. one of the best really scenes. Scene. He, he, he used wide angles really well yeah. in his film. Um, oh, yeah, so, what would you think of the plot? The, the plot was, all, yeah, plot was good. Plot yeah. was good? Plot <laughs> was good. Like, I was, some of the stuff I, I, I picked, picked up at the beginning, mm -hmm. when you watch the movie, you got to really pay attention oh, of, pay of attention, what they guys. saying and pay attention to the background because there's a lot of things... Yes. That you ain't gonna know about the boy and the mother. You know? It is a lot. So you gotta pay attention. And, and the plot was right. And I'm crazy. happy Evo brought that up because, like, you guys will see when you you literally have to pay close attention. Sure. You know, one thing I like about uh, uh, Jordan Peele is that he nothing in his films is without reason. Yeah. Like everything that he puts in his film has a, a purpose behind it, mm -hmm. and whether it, it just it can be the smallest. Just like uh, Get Out. I mean, let's go back to his first film with the Cheerios. You know, it's yeah. just like a, a scene that completely go over your head. You know, it's just like, oh, she's eating cereal or whatever, whatever. But, you know, like keeping the colors out, the like the milk, you know, like mm -hmm. it's, he ties an interaction. It's like nothing he does is without purpose. And you definitely have to see because, I mean, really, if you, if you really pay attention to the first, what, opening scene of the movie, it kind of tells a, a, a big part that happens yeah, in the end. It like really it, it foreshadows the ending a lot, you know, yeah, so lot. you gotta just like I say, pay attention to what they saying. Close attention. Yep. And just every word they say you gotta pay attention because it, it means something. Right, right. And that's definitely true. And uh and that's one thing I will say about the plot. The plot is very unpredictable. It's yeah, very it unpredictable. He could have like, went a lot of ways. He could have went a lot of ways. Elbow, Elbow had was spot on with one of them, though. <laughs> he got one of them right. Uh, so, <laughs> I was like, oh, brilliant, I know it. Brilliant minds think alike. Uh -huh. he, he got that I one right. I, I, I picked a lot of stuff, like, you know, uh, well, I was confused on, like, uh, like if they was... Whatever I can't, you know, I can't give a spoil. I can't even say it. Cause yeah, yeah, don't want to spoil it. Don't want to spoil it. There's a whole bunch of stuff I want to like. Got questions about or whatever, like the clothes, the mm -hmm, shears. Mm -hmm. Like, where the hell they get that from? Right, right, uh, right. Especially the scene in the house. All the house scene was was perfect. But I was like, why the fuck you can move a table call a, to a coffee <laughs> a table? A coffee table to <laughs> right, right. No, I thought you about could, that too. You I thought about move that too. It, like, <laughs> but everything else was perfect. So like, I, I am. I don't got nothing bad to say about it. But. Yeah, oh, the twist. The, oh, the twist, twist is going to blow you guys' fucking mind. Hey, really? You know, and it's funny because Elbo, going back to what we just said about Elbo guessing one of the things, yeah. he got the twist. Yeah. But the <laughs> twist, it, it, it's it's a brain fuck. Like, yeah. it, it'll it'll get you. Yeah, the twist and it's like a bigger plot and it's like a hidden message. Right. 
it, it, it's just really good. Like he he does it again when it comes to comes to tying in these deeper meanings yeah. into his film. He he does it again, and you you literally you guys really really have to pay attention because a lot of things. Because upon further research after seeing the film. It was another, uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it was another scene that we, we're probably going to talk about off camera. Mm-hmm. But it was another scene where bringing up the scissors, the mm-hmm. scissors actually appeared in, in the house before the doppelgangers even got there. Yeah. And if you know the ending, then you know why they were there. Because it's yeah. like, why would the scissors be there already? But if you know the ending, you would know why. <laughs> so, it, it, I mean, the plot's spoiler-free. really good. Or whatever, but it's Spoiler like it's, free. it's, it's too, tough. It's, it's tough. It is it's too good if you really want to like deeply talk about it. Where you just talk like the characters did a great job on both sides of acting. Oh, the acting like, was phenomenal. Scared and being crazy, like right. they did a great. It was phenomenal, especially uh, the the lady, the mom, the the mom. The mom her eyes just. It's the eyes. That her eyes them. just her. It, it increased her acting prowess so high. Yeah, like her eyes, the intensity that they had, whether. Her eyes just match the scene perfect. If it was mm-hmm. an intense scene, her eyes match that intensity. Get big and watery. Right. If it was, if it was a, a evil conniving scene, her eyes were evil. Like it was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so you, you t- we're talking about the acting now. Mm-hmm. We talked about the plot. Yeah. Okay. What was a weakness that you felt that you had in the film, whether it be the film or the character? The, the weakness to me in the film, okay, I'll start the film. I felt like the little boy, I felt like the little girl should have done more. I felt like her scene mm-hmm. should have been a little more. Really? Like, I felt like I it, was, really it was good for what they gave us, but I feel like I wanted a little more out of them. Because after, you know, she, the, once the doppelganger got distracted, and then she just right, dipped right, out. Right, right. And right. then after that's it. it so, makes sense. But I, I feel like it should have been a little more. I feel you, and you know. Oh, they should have showed the doppelganger, like doing, doing chasing after or whatever. Right, right. And you know, I feel I feel the exact same, but mine is more of from the father. Yeah, I was about to get into that. You too. got into like yeah. I, I felt like watching the film when it came to the doppelgangers. Uh, the mother is a, is a part in the movie where mm-hmm. they basically she revealed their backstories. Yeah. And I felt like the father's backstory was kind of absent. And yeah, then, he was just you there. Know, he was just there for the sake of being the dad. You know? Yeah, we don't know, we don't know they, how they married, how they met. Right, but, but right. I think, but to be like I was saying, this, I got to pay attention to the background. But if you pay attention to the house, the whole house was like portrayed on like women portraits, women and son, mother and son, mm-hmm, strong mm-hmm. women. It was like a lot of women portraits in the background, yeah, strong yeah. women portraits. So see, I, I, I like, completely missed that. So <laughs> I got to go back and so, see and my second time. Don't, don't sleep on <laughs> this mother and son connection. And then... It's real. Yes, that, that is true. That is definitely true. Another hint on the doppelganger connection with them. Right, right. Uh, and one uh, another thing... I, w- I don't know if I would really call it a thing. negative, uh, but I would like to uh, capitalize on uh, a major part in the film, uh, mainly being the ending. Uh, I wish they would have. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. They explained the motives, but I wish they yeah. would have went into a little bit more depth as far as why, why was it so important to them? Like, mm-hmm. I, I, I really wish they would have dove into the motive of the doppelgangers a little more, because I mean, we know we know that they were ready, but you know, like, and we know what was driving them to do mm-hmm. so, but. I wish I would have known like a little bit more of like say for instance had they succeeded in what they were trying to do. Yeah. What would what then? You know like what no, like what did. was it I, beyond the whole idea of I don't want to give too much away. It's, it's so yeah, tough. It, it is. It's, <laughs> it's just, tough. I need to make a follow. Huh? I know right. We're gonna have to do a follow one for you guys. This one, you want to <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah. So I mean, but other than that, like that's. That's my yeah. only negatives. I feel like the the yeah. horror was, guys. This is more of a thriller. I don't know if I would. would yeah, you it, it's a thriller. Or? I don't think it's a horror. Yeah, it's more whatever. of a, it's more of a thriller. It's thriller suspense. So suspense. People yeah. always get them tied up, but they are all always. separate in their own genres. Right. Right. So, so I definitely agree. Uh, so, 
I mean, is there anything else you would like to add on the film? No, because I can't talk about it. Can we then talk on the acting? It. We talk on the plot? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to spoil nothing for you guys. It's really tough. So let's dive straight into our ratings. On a scale from 1 to 10, Evo, what uh, you give me? Last time we seen the previous, I gave him a 10 out of 10. Which you going to stay there? Maybe 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. And it was just because, like I said, I agree with the ending. Like, what happens after they take over? If right, they take right. over. Right, right. So yeah. what happens after that? Right. And uh, I'm right with you. I'm right with you. Mm -hmm. 9 out of 10 for me as well. I have to give the film a 9 out of 10. The acting was great. Yeah. Uh, the plot was fantastic, unpredictable. Shots was great. The sh it was shot fantastically. Same. The twist was good. Scenes yeah. were intense. The violence was at a, 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 a fair... A fair pace of tone, I feel. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like overly violent. You know, yeah, it was, just it was really good. Violent. It has, in the scene, it's supposed to be violent there. Right. The comedy, we didn't even touch on that. They had some oh, nice really? comedy elements to yeah, it as well to help kind of break up the, the tenseness of the film. I think that was the daddy's role. Because he was most of the definitely comic. Definitely the dad. The dad part. was definitely more of the uh, comic was relief talking in this film. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the dad was definitely more of like want to the get comedy. Crazy. Part. Yeah, <laughs> we can get, get crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah, the dad was definitely there to provide us with that comedic uh, so, feel yeah. to the film mm -hmm. to kind of help break up that pace, yeah. uh, intense things like that. It has a lot of metaphors in the film, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and so, would you recommend the viewers go see it? I recommend go see it. If y'all do, comment below. Let me know y'all going because I'm coming with you again. <laughs> <laughs> right, and me too because I got to catch up to elbow. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's some stuff that you got to look at, but you got to pay attention. Just you really got to pay attention to this film. And Jordan Peele, he does it again. I would, yeah. I would you put things in your face that again. you really just overlook. You overlook. Or your brain just overlook. Right. And the, and the, yeah. I'm telling you guys, the film literally tells you what it foreshadows itself yeah. in so many scenes. Mm -hmm. So it's really good, guys. We really enjoyed it. I uh, We definitely want to go see it again because I know I watched Get Out like Four, maybe five times. I, I wanted to catch everything. Like, after I left the movie, I was like, can it go straight to DVD tomorrow? So yeah. Like, <laughs> it's great, guys. You guys will not be disappointed. Yeah. It got nine out of ten from both of us. So, yeah. definitely, if you guys want to go see it, definitely go see it. And even if you didn't want to go see it, hopefully this review will convince you to go do so. It. Go see it. Definitely. So, uh, I'm Jay Scott Top. Hello. We are the, the Midnight, Midnight Movie, Movie Watchers. Watchers. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow us on all our social medias. They'll be in the description box below. And, uh, Evo? I got five on it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that song in my head, man. I got five. There you go. Get big on it. So we out of here, y'all. We finna go jam. Midnight Movie Watchers out. Peace. Bye-bye.